new Bryson Tiller album. Honestly, I've been trying to cover this on the past couple weeks. But honestly, I just can't get past the album cover. Like, I'm just saying, bro, there's not a single song on the album where he has to be looking at me like this. So in today's one, I'm going to be making a beat in the style of Bryson Tiller's new album. Wait, what's it called again? Wait, why is it just called Bryson Tiller? I'm not even 30 seconds into the video. I've said his name like eight times. Either way, I'm going to see what I can do with this one. Alright, so there's a lot of different BPMs and styles on this album, but my personal favourite track is called Attitude. It's around 130 BPM, so I think that's what I'm going to go for. Now, as you can already see, I already have Analog Lab 5 open. I'm just going to warn you now, there's going to be a lot of that in this video. First thing I'm going to need is a pad, and I think there's a pretty nice glide pad in this one, so I'm going to see if I can use that. Okay, I'm really kind of concerned because I recognize this chord progression from somewhere, I just don't remember where. And at the same time, it's like the most generic soul progression you could come up with, so it's fine. I'll remember where it's from in like two days. So I'm going to clone Analog Lab 5. I'm going to see if I can find like a bell sound or something. I like the kind of wobble effect that it has going on. That sounds kind of dumb, so I'm going to have to lay down some effects on both of those. Before I do that, I'm going to open up Serum. I don't want the tail of this to be too long, so I'm going to reduce the release. Okay, finally I can fix this bell sound, so I'm going to solo it. I'm going to lower it by an octave so it doesn't sound as harsh. Open up Edison and bounce it out. Now I've got this sample, I'm going to reverse it, and I'm going to have to shift the notes around so the melody makes sense again. Okay, I'm not a big fan, so I'm going to pitch it back up an octave. Alright, there's like a weird modular vibe to it, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna link all these to a mixer. I'm just gonna throw some effects on them, so... So I know in these kind of beats, a lot of people sing their own vocals and then add the effects on them so they have more control of what's going on. Unfortunately for me, I'm a bit too conscious of my digital footprint to demonstrate that, so I'm just gonna look in Splice and see what I can find. left a small gap here because I'm going to look for another vocal sample, see if I can fill in the gap. Okay, I don't really like the first part of that, but I can definitely use that for something. Okay, I need to wrap this up because at some point I'm going to want to add percussion. I'm thinking some accents, some like modular synths, something like that. That sounded good to me, so I think I'm gonna add some percussion now. And this track doesn't really have the traditional like trap soul percussion. Like, I don't know, the drums sound closer to like maybe like disco or funk or something. I'm not too sure. Either way, the two step hi hat enjoyers are gonna be very disappointed in me. I have to change the envelope of this one a little bit though. I don't really like using these too much, but maybe a clap riser. to 
lay that kick with something else. I have no idea why. Every time I open this plugin, my PC starts behaving like it's in the gravity chamber or something. Okay, I like the drum pattern. It's just not really blending with the melody very well. Real quick, I'm gonna mix the drums, arrange the beat, and then we can see what it sounds like. All right, so honestly, that didn't take too long at all. I think the main thing I added is some delay and some reverb to all the accents and vocals. But to be honest, other than that, I've just layered the drums. I've like slightly increased the mid frequencies in the snare. And of course, as always, I'll play the beat with an acapella on it. But before that, of course, I wanna say a big thank you for watching and for all the support on the channel recently. And hopefully, if you're looking to make beats in the style, this video helped you in some way. And I'm kind of just praying I don't have to wait another three years for another Bryson Tiller album. But yeah, this is what the final beat sounds like. Over there.